Hey guys, Antonio from Real Men Real Style here, and uh, I'm doing this little impromptu video with my friend Ryan Masters of the Workout Corner. And uh, Ryan asked me, Antonio, I've got these boots, I love them, and uh, how can I make them last longer? How can, do, am I supposed to be conditioning and cleaning these? And I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity. So a couple days ago, had him order a leather honey leather conditioner on Amazon and just have it delivered right here to the hotel. And he could have used, there's a number of products out there I like, Chamberlain's Leather Milk. Uh, the conditioner and the waterproofer is an excellent product as well. But for this, you know, purposes, I know Ariel and Sean over at this company out of West Virginia, and they've got a great product. Uh, the guys over at, again, Le uh, Chamberlain's Leather Milk and uh, Leather uh, Conditioner is great as well. So these boots, let's go ahead and take a okay, pair. These Lucchese boots, they look like they're uh, alligator. So we got the, the gator feel here. These boots, he has been putting through a lot. I mean, what have you done to these things? <laughs> yeah, I like the, here's kind of what really happened is Antonio saw my boots and he saw how poorly kept they were and he asked me if I took care of them. And, and you know, I, as a you know, kind of regular guy, I was like, oh, I'll buy a nice pair of boots, but I haven't taken care of them. And, 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 it, and now it's, it's very obvious, especially when I have like his boots to look at. And, and these are, you know, these are an investment and it's something that I probably should have taken a little more care of because yeah, I, I use these on my motorcycle. Uh, I wear them all the time because they're so comfortable. Yeah. And, and I think, because they're like, I view them as like trucks, so I can just, well, I don't have to do anything to them and take them anywhere. And, and these aren't cheap boots. These yeah. are Lucases. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a great company out of El Paso, Texas. Uh, these are probably a $500 pair of boots. Uh, now, he's got some damage in here, and I think he's going to eventually need to send these boots to a, to basically a boot maker, a boot repair shop. I can recommend Noel over at Texas Custom Boots. Uh, you're in Colorado, Denver, mm -hmm. so you're going to have a few options there. Guys, go in, talk with the boot maker. Don't just send these to any cobbler, uh, but it's little little bits of damage here in the uh, the, the lower part, in, in the heel. And in addition, right here, you can tell he's using this to put his legs down when he's stopping on his motorcycle. Yeah. So uh, things now like that. But overall, the upper is in good shape, and we want to keep it that way. And he hasn't been applying any conditioner or anything to them. No, and and if I could ask, like one thing, just again, it's kind of like a guy who's not super up on style. Like when you when I hear you say, "Oh, you need to go take this to a cobbler," now I'm like, "Oh gosh, you know, what am I gonna? Is it cheaper for me to just buy wear wear these out and buy a new it, pair of boots?" If these were no, you you'll find the cobblers are very reasonable. He can probably get these repaired. I would think for. Uh, Fifty to a hundred dollars. Oh wow! And when yeah. you're talking for a five hundred dollar pair of boots yeah. that you have 10%. loved, yeah. and every time you wear them, you feel great. Yep. Uh, you know, this is that's a no brainer. Mm -hmm. Now that is normal, uh, and you'll want to probably be careful. But if you know, and, and we can see how deep the damage has gone. That's why he's going to have to go to a specialist. They're going to have to uh, rebuild this up. But let's look at the upper because this is something that he can take care of today, mm -hmm. and especially here in Arizona where it's really dry, moisture is being drawn out now. All of these upper, I mean, and this is over here, this is uh, more of a, uh, this is a calf over here, so this is a different bit, but we're going to call all of these leathers for right now, even though basically what I'm talking about is skin. And so the way the leather is set up is if you can imagine it crisscrosses and you've got these fibers that are going across like that, and these fibers are built to be able to go like this thousands and tens of thousands of times. But eventually what's going to happen is they're going to dry out. And if they start to dry out, they're going to crack. And if they crack, you're going to start getting deeper cracks and eventually tears. Oh. So that's what we want to avoid here. And that's why a leather conditioner is important. This isn't, this isn't polish. Polish I, I've got over there. And I wouldn't even really recommend putting much polish on boots with a shape like this because the polish is going to end up flaking and you're not really looking for a shine. This is actually going to go into the leather leather and re in, in, in a sense infuse a bit more moisture in it and help pull out and make sure water doesn't go in there. The damage that water can do to leathers, and I know this is an exotic, you know, again, I know this is not <laughs> true leather, but guys, you know, ostrich or any a stingray, uh, stingray is actually incredibly durable and actually you can get away with not using stuff like this on it. But everything else, 
I'm going to say what you don't want to have happen is water get in there because when water goes in the leather and then it comes out, it usually pulls out more moisture than, uh, it, it just pulls out some extra moisture with it and it can do a lot of damage. So be careful and that's one of the reasons you want to use something like this which is also going to act as a protectant. So the first step in, is to simply clean it and I've got a, a simple, simple rag here with nothing on it and we're going to go through and we're going to wipe this down, go through. What we're doing is removing dirt, dust, those little particles which we don't want to rub into there. I would also recommend taking a simple toothbrush and going in and around here, getting cleaning this out all through around here, not doing a super thorough job because I just want to do a quick demonstration of what we would do. Then, since this isn't black or a, this is pretty dark, and we've already talked about this, expect this to darken the color just a bit. And if you're really worried about this, you've got a light pair of ostrich or something like that, do a very small test in an area that wouldn't be noticeable. And then expand out that test. And when you feel comfortable, you know, start moving around. I can tell you for this right here, we could put on a decent amount. The, um, the, the alligator isn't going to soak in a whole lot, but I can see that we need to remove some uh, there's something on, on here. I don't know what you've been stepping in, <laughs> but we're going to go in there and re remove that. And then what we would do is slowly dab this on here and start putting this on here. Now, if you had a boot, more traditional boot, in which it's going to be smooth up here, you can, after you have conditioned this, you can actually apply a little bit of a polish and go for a little bit of a shine. But uh, again, you want a bit of a smoother, smoother area in which you can get that shine. Something like this, not so much. So how much conditioner to put on there? You're going to, uh, you know, I, I would say you want to put as much as it needs. And I know that's an ambiguous answer. But it comes down to if he hasn't conditioned this for a year, mm -hmm. there's probably going to be a lot of the uh, leather conditioner that can be absorbed into this. And so you could add, you know, put on, you know, don't cake it on, but put on quite a bit and then let it sit overnight. And that's going to give it time to soak it. And in the morning, wipe off any excess. You're good to go. Now, you don't want to have too much because you don't want to attract dirt and other particles like that. But guys, that is really it when it comes to conditioning. Again, most boots, you can get you know, a nice smooth black pair. Maybe you want to get a little bit of a polish or a shine on. And again, conditioner is different than polish or even a type of a cream. Mm. Creams are kind of a, a mix between the, you know, um, the polishes and the conditioners. They don't really have as much of a conditioning property though, but I'm definitely gonna recommend for your boots, conditioning them is a great thing. How often to do this? If you're in a desert area, I would recommend probably once every six months. And that's assuming that you're wearing your boots a couple times a week. If you're wearing your boots every day, then you want to just look at the boot and you know make it a part of you know maybe a part of a monthly routine or uh, maybe twice you know twice twice a month. Okay, all right. Any questions? Um, no, I think well in the pol if you do have like these boots and you polish them, two separate things from obviously the conditioner. Like you still need to like I guess the polish is just for the shine. The conditioner is treating and and helping the boot. Did I get that yeah, correctly? Yeah, pol polish sits on the outside. It's like a waxy film. It is good for protecting more shoes than boots. But although if it's the right type of boot, you can use a little bit of polish to help protect. I advise also using a neutral polish, something that's not going to uh, discolor the boot. And where you want to be careful is most, especially boots like this, are, are pretty soft and a polish could flake if you put it on there. And that's why the conditioner is so great. Cool. Anything no. else? No, I think uh, I've got to get some conditioning to do yeah. and uh, get this up to the cobbler, like you said, and maybe find another pair of riding boots. But uh, that's what I like about boots. You can just wear them for everything, you know? Yeah. But take yeah. care of it a little better, I think. All right, Ryan. Thank you for uh, you know bringing this up, yeah, and hopefully you advice. guys find it useful. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, right. and don't forget, like or subscribe. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, we didn't say that at the beginning. I, I didn't say that. Uh, dude, you're dropping okay. your game. I, I know, I know. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.